Hey dads, if y'all remember one of my first videos that I put up on this channel was of my corded cobalt electric lawn mower. And it crapped out on me, but it had a warranty on it. And I wanna to talk to you guys about my experience going to Lowe's to see if they'll honor that warranty. We're gonna talk about that today. First of all, hi, hi to all the new dads out there. This is Dad Reviews. This is where I give you my unedited, hopefully more authentic look at the products that I like, use, and have. So if you're interested in that, you might want to consider clicking that subscribe button. So like I said, I had a cobalt corded lawn mower and I was mowing my lawn one day and all of a sudden, I don't know if, what happened, but the engine just, it, it started smoking and then it just shut down. I was like, oh crud. So I tried a few more times to, to get the thing to go. Uh, to turn back on and nothing happened. So uh, I thought maybe it might have got, it was a dewy morning, so maybe some water got up into there or something, I don't know. So I let it kind of dry out uh, throughout the day and then I went back and I checked it again. Still nothing happened to it, but I still kept the receipt and the paperwork about the warranty in a, f a file folder that we have. And I read the warranty and it says that it has a four year warranty on it. I, as y'all know, I love products with warranty, in particular lifetime warranties. But my experience with this particular warranty was that one, I got online to see how to go about doing a cobalt warranty. And they said, just bring it into your Lowe's, make sure you have your receipt and your paperwork. So I had both of those. Uh, I grabbed both of those. I called them up first to make sure and they were like, oh yeah, just come on in and we'll, we'll swap it out for another one. I was like, okay, great, let's make this happen. So I went to Lowe's and uh, on my way, uh, whenever I got there, I, I had stopped at the customer return desk. I drew, put the lawnmower right there. When it was my turn, I went up there and I told them the situation um, and I told them about the warranty <clears throat> and they had to like check with a manager and then they had to, to verify some stuff and then uh, they had to call someone, I guess, at the customer service area and it was, seemed like a big ordeal. Needless to say, that first day, it was a Saturday too, I think, uh, so that didn't help. Um, so the, the person that they called, it was closed, so I needed to go back on a different day. So I was like, okay, fine, that's understandable. It's a Saturday, I'll try, I'll try back on a, on a regular day. So I went back two days later, I think it was a Monday, maybe Tuesday, and um, I called, no, I called, the lady gave me a number to call in, uh, if something was wrong. She said, you need to call this number and get a reference number or uh, something like that. I can't remember exactly the name that uh, she called it. So I called them and they were like, no, you pretty much just need to go in there and get it swapped out. And I was like, all right, let's go do this again. So I went back to the Lowe's. I told them everything that the guy told me. They called up somebody there. And then while I was there, um, two things happened. One, they don't have that lawnmower in stock anymore and they can't get it. I don't know if Cobalt's doing away with their electric lawnmowers, but that was the first issue. The second issue um, was that we still had to go through all the manager approval, blah, blah, blah. It wasn't just like a quick swap, but it made kind of some sense because they didn't have it on the shelf. So I got together with the manager and he was offering me some other things. There's another corded lawn. I really wanted a corded lawnmower. There's another one there called the Sun Joe. I'll link up the, the ones that they recommended, the one that I had and the one that I ended up getting will actually be the next video. So if you guys want to click that subscribe button, you guys can see what the mower actually ended up with. But um, I went to Lowe's. I, I was at Lowe's. I'm going through all the lawnmowers that they have available uh, for me. I didn't want anything with a battery. I knew that. And I don't think they were going to give me anything with a battery anyway because it was like double the price. Um, but there was this one. It was a evergreen, ever built, ever ever something. I can't remember. It looked like a good beefy lawnmower, and I was like, it had the longest warranty on it too. So I was like, I'll take that one. And he looks, he's going through and looking on the computer. Oh, we can't get any of those either. Great. Okay. Well. And then he showed me the Sun Joe. The Sun Joe is like a smaller deck, not as great. Uh, I just, I didn't want to have to deal with that one. And I feel like I've read reviews about that one before on Amazon that weren't that great. And so I was really kind of off put by that one. So um, I was like, what else can you do for me? I read my warranty paperwork and in there it says, if you cannot find a replacement, we will gladly refund you the money. And so uh, I pointed that out to him and they're like, okay, you know, he, he actually read his paperwork. We'll honor, you know, what the warranty says. And they, they gave me my money back. Full, upfront, everything. Everything that I paid for it. So I was like, this is great. Because the lawnmower that they said that they couldn't get on Amazon, or on, uh, on, on their website, I found it on Amazon. So I went and I ordered it on Amazon. 
That's a whole nother story, but basically that order never went through, so that company must also not be carrying corded lawn mowers anymore. But I did find one on Amazon, and not the same brand, that I'm gonna unbox in tomorrow's video. It's right over there. So if you guys wanna see what lawnmower I actually ended up getting, make sure to click that subscribe button. If you guys found this video helpful, please share it on your Facebook page. If you know a man who's out there and he deals with a lot of tools and he needs to know about cobalt tool warranties, maybe this might shed some light on some information for him. Otherwise, if you're liking what we're doing here, I'm gonna link up that original uh, video that I did of my corded lawnmower, and I'll also put some other lawn equipment that I have uh, in that playlist as well. You guys can go and watch some of those videos. Definitely appreciate that. That thumbs up button is always appreciated if you guys want to smash that. I love how we're coming together as a community of dads to figure out what the best products are and the best ones with a warranty uh, so that we can get the best products that we need to run our households. Uh, if you guys want to watch more of our videos, I'm going to put some more videos right there on the screen. I'd love it if you guys watched more of our videos. Thank you guys for watching our videos. Like I said, that thumbs up is always appreciated and dad out.